instead of just this itself, instead of just this itself um, telling you and doing the work for you, you'll get to a point where I think it's almost at the end where you're you're going against other people and it it kind of relies on you to be able to do this on your own. So um, the whole point of it, the reason why they created it is so that we are so, it can teach us while you have fun. That's why you stay there for a while without you even knowing it. Um, and you can tell um, from this very beginning all the way to um, this, this, this last level, you can tell the difference um, in between all the levels because that's how far you came. You can tell that there's a lot more than just move up now. Now you have era enemy. There are va variable statements. There are um, um, there are if statements, while statements. So it, it, you choose basically. So when you start at the beginning, you get the choice of Python and JavaScript. Um, so whatever you choose with, I would suggest continuing on with it. And then when you get to a point where you know that you've mastered it, then you can move on to JavaScript. If you want to start with JavaScript like I did, then you get after doing a couple of JavaScript, then you move on and you go back to, then you go to Python to shake up your mind a little bit to go. And then you start from there and you keep going because you don't want to keep jumping from Python to JavaScript because then you're going to mess up yourself when you're to, when you start getting ahead. And then it's going to be harder for you to withstand the concept because you won't know which 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 code concept is for which which code concept. And believe you me, it is not something you want to be stressing over. So um, it's a nice program. Um, it as is really is it doesn't it doesn't take as much time as you believe as long as you keep it on uh, you keep you dedicate some time like 20 minutes even five to 15 minutes each day, you'll see yourself get better and you'll see yourself complete more levels a day. You can even, instead of time limit, cause you know, some of some of the levels are hard for different people. You can um, delegate, hey, today I'm gonna finish five levels. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish six levels or by the end of the week, instead of delegating each day, you can say by the end of the week, I want to be finished with this whole course next or by the end of the week I want to be finished with 20 levels so then that you know how to you know how to plan yourself from there um so that you can you can balance it with school life and you can also balance um understanding how this works so when it comes to getting something that you're confused on um a lot of you will not be at the same place you will be at different paces some of you will finish the first course like this and there will be other people that take a while and that's okay because everybody learns at different speeds. So what you want to do is that if somebody has a problem or if somebody isn't understanding it right, then that's when you come and you help one another. Um, and I think you have a Discord for that. I think I made a Discord for that a while ago. Um, and you just post a screenshot there. And if they don't, I'll try my best to uh, respond and give you um, and give you an answer to it. But even not just me, there's a lot of you that will be, there's a lot of you that already started like Ethan and Abigail. Um, you guys have been doing it for a while. So I'm pretty sure there's some levels that you have already passed. If you see it, take the initiative to help because I may not always see it. I will do the best I can, but I may not always see it. So this is why you guys are together as a team. You work together and you help one another because you don't want, you all want to learn. So you don't want to leave someone behind being stuck because nobody wants to be stuck on the same level for like three days. So um, I think you guys can all do it. Um, it's a very, it's a very fun thing. Um, and as long as you don't, as long as you don't overthink and follow the directions, you'll be pretty fine and you'll learn a lot more than you think. Great. Thank you so much, Anne, for that uh, great uh, update and uh, information. I think it is uh, uh, it is important for everyone to know about this. So, um, if you do, anybody has a question, you can ask Anne uh, right now, uh, based on what she has shared. You can ask a question and uh, unmute yourself and just go ahead and ask a question. If it says you have an error loading the game, um, that's another thing. You can screenshot that and post it on actually the, on the WhatsApp group chat because um, sometimes it, it has that problem 
whether it's like um, you, whether your Wi-Fi is problematic, that is um, it depends on what the problem is. Um, but if it's if it's actual like if your code is saying that it can't load, most likely there's like a lowercase letter or uppercase letter where there's a period that you forgot to put down. So you can look over your code again. But if it's the entire app itself, then that would be an issue that you'd like to come forward with. Good. Um, oh, which is harder, Python or Java? Okay, so I can't really, it's more opinionated than you think. Um, it's for me, I would consider on my side, I consider Python harder only because I've been doing Java for longer. Um, but, and Java and JavaScript are two different things. So really your question should have been Python or JavaScript, which is you guys are doing JavaScript or either Python. But if I were you, I would recommend um, starting with, um, I would say start, if, you're wanted, if you want to make games, then I would say start with JavaScript. Um, if you want to um, like understand the whole, the thing is that nowadays people use more Python than JavaScript, which is why it's good to learn JavaScript. But it's, that's why I said it's so opinionated. That's why at the very beginning, what you would want to do is you go through the Python beginner level, you go through the Java beginner level, and you choose which one works for you. If you think Java is better, then pick Java. If you think Python is better, then um, Py then continue with the Python course until you get to a point where you're like, oh, I want to learn something else. So clueless about what exactly? Can I get an explanation for that? But Python and Java. Okay, those are both a coding software. So the so it's they're both. Uh, how can I explain? It's like a banana and an apple. They're both fruits, but they're full. But they're different. Um, they're different. They're different fruits. So um, you can put them in a smoothie, but there'll be different flavors that come out of it. The smoothie will still you. It'll still equal a smoothie, but not the same smoothie. So um, it. So the whole thing, the difference between Python and Java is um, that they're both coding, they're both coding, it's just like one works better for one thing, one works better for another, and they're two different coding softwares um, that are used to make different things. Sometimes they actually work together, especially Python and Java work together, which is why it's good to know both. Um, and it, it's, it's, I can't say, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than the, and the, other than they're the same, but they're not the same. Which is why you want to you want to once you pick a course, that's what you want to stay with because your mind is going to be confused if you're going from Python to Java, Java to Python, and continuing back and forth. Yeah. Can you do the same level? The same level for Python and Java, or could you enunciate on that? Oh. Can you do the same level? Uh, that's what I was saying. So at the very beginning, um, you get a, at the very beginning, you get, if my computer wants to load, then maybe I can show you. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, at the very beginning, there is, you get a Python, you get Python beginner level and a Java beginner level. So what I was saying is that the only time I would, I would advise you to do two levels is those two. At the beginning, you try Python and later you try Java. The reason why I say Python before Java is because Python, there's, a, there's like, they have, it's more easier, it's a more easier beginning than, than JavaScript is. It's better for you to get a good concept of, um, Python before, before JavaScript. Um, so you try the JavaScript beginner, the, the Python beginner level first, then the JavaScript beginner level level later, and then um, you choose between both of them. And then that's when you continue either with JavaScript or you continue with, um, okay, or you continue with, um, with Python. So that's the only time I would advise you to, to do both. Any more questions? Hmm. 
None. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. I think that's good. So uh, what it is. But I have a question. Go ahead, Sebastian. Are we gonna be doing that Ozaria thing we were talking about yesterday or yes, so the uh Suera, can you explain about the Ozaria and code compact thing? Okay. So Ozaria is an extension of um code combat. The only difference between code combat and Azaria is that they're two different storylines. So um code combat is more kings and knights um save the whole princess thing that's what um code combat is and then it's kind of just like more it's more it's more combat basically code combat it's more combat based or else um i think the azor azaria um storyline is yeah like medieval time the azor the azaria timeline is um this one this girl trying to um take away the darkness from her from her village it's more of an actual, more of a more storyline than it is um, actual game, which is why it's it's you it's 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 good. It's actually a really good beginner because after you stop, you after you finish that story, that actual um, storyline, you're able to understand the medieval. But it depends on um, which whichever one works better for you. Me, I did a, a Ozaria first. I did first two or three levels of Ozaria. And then I moved on to Code Combat and I continued like that. And like I said, you need to be able to help one another because there were very, a lot of, there were multiple times I did not understand what I was doing. So I actually went, actually, I remember once I asked Abigail, Abigail to help me with um, Code Combat, I think it was two, um, after I had just finished Orzaria, she helped me. And then when I moved on, I was, there was another person who was, who was a little higher, who was doing a lot, a lot of levels like I was at the time. So I would ask him for help, which is why I'm saying you guys need to ask each other for help because it depends on where you are. And if you're ahead of other people, then you can help the person behind you. So. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much um, for that information. So basically what uh, it is, is that uh, uh, we will just be meeting uh, just to check the progress of each other. And I was thinking, instead of meeting every week, we will be meeting every other week uh, uh, so that at least uh, we can be, um, uh, give people time. Uh, but every time you finish, I will know, you can text me and let me know. Uh, there is a certificate that you get uh, and we'll print all of them, them in the office. Uh, but also every every module you finish, I uh, will give two dollars. If you finish ten modules, you get twenty dollars. If you finish uh, all of them, uh, if you if you finish the Ozaria module, there are only four chapters. If you finish that, uh, you get ten dollars uh, ten dollar gift card for 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 Chick Fil A. And then when you finish uh, the card compact, the 11 modules, uh, you get, uh, you're gonna get, uh, what is it? Uh, you're gonna get $15. It might be, if you do, depending on the time you finish, you might get 20 or $15 when you finish the card compact 11 module, 20, 15 or $20 a visa, so you can use it on Amazon, you can use it on uh, whatever, you can use it on the shop, you can do whatever it is, we didn't want to limit, so that you can have all the stuff that you do, every module you finish. So if you finish all the modules, you will get a total of around $70, 65 or $70 total, and we can put it in a visa card uh, for all of them. Um, but most importantly, is you, the most important thing you need to know is that you will have a lot of skills. Uh, and, and if you work very hard, uh, I'm working with my, uh, uh, Tony, that uh, was Adam, that was talking to us, and he can put you into a, a tournament. Tournament, he was sharing this with you in some, some up to $2,000, $3,000 uh, when you get into the tournament. 
uh, but not just the tournament, but also you have a lot of skills that you will be able to learn uh, by the time you finish. Uh, one thing I don't know if I shared with you the last conference uh, meeting we had is that uh, JavaScript, it's, it's going to be, uh, I mean, uh, uh, programming is something that everybody has to learn, to, to learn because every program, every career you're getting into will require you to have that experience. Um, and a good example is a, a friend of mine that uh, I'm working with right now. Uh, he is, uh, he, he, he's, he's trying to, he just graduated and trying to get a job in accounting and he's proving hard. So we're just signing up, we just sign up him with the launch code where they would, he would now start programming uh, so that he can be able to pack, uh, uh, package himself with the, his accounting experience. Uh, it's only takes three months, and 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 uh, he, he, we are hoping that uh, we will be able to get his scholarship uh, for the funding to get the bootcamp. Um, and and when you have the combination of your accounting experience, accounting degree that he has, and now with the Python or me with the programming. Uh, it is it is going to be a very good combination. So it doesn't matter whatever you're doing. I would recommend uh, if you can just at least have a way to learn some of those uh, uh, basics, even engineering, the one we had, somebody who's doing engineering. When we went to Hanson, they talked about that. When we went to Microsoft, uh, they also talked about that. So take advantage for now uh, because you are young, you have the sharp brain. Uh, because the things you're doing now, if you don't do it now, uh, it might be too late to do later in life uh, when things are get busy. So for now that you have time to play games and the stuff, and I, for those who don't know, there are way that you can make games and sell those makes make and sell those games that you make, uh, like the ones you buy. Uh, if you have a question, post it in the chat. But I think I wanted to share with you that question that somebody asked about the Ozaria. Uh, I think there is a small clip that they have it on their website, just in case you haven't seen it. I'm gonna play it. With Ozaria Classroom, our all new narrative adventure, we deliver a turnkey solution that engages students and supports teachers. From the start, students are immersed in a fantasy adventure game in which their knowledge of computer science advances with the storyline writing real Python and JavaScript on day one. They're learning without really realizing that they're learning. The scaffolded curriculum systematically builds on students' experiences and knowledge as they learn real world skills through the power of play. And I like how it builds the concepts up slowly so you don't even notice that it's getting harder. Ozaria meets CSTA and ISTE standards, enabling you to teach with confidence as your students master core computer science concepts, develop computational thinking skills, and learn about the relevance of computer science to their daily lives. Even with no coding experience, you can teach a core computer science curriculum with Ozaria. Designed with feedback from our community of over 140,000 educators, the product includes an intuitive teacher dashboard with access to curricular resources, student progress tracking, as well as formative and summative assessment tools. Ozaria's student-facing lesson slides and teacher-facing notes make planning and delivering lessons faster and easier. The Track Progress tool allows you to monitor student progress on an ongoing basis, get valuable information on their performance, and immediately identify whether interventions are needed. A responsive, flexible curriculum that meets the needs of all students and educators. The provided educational resources support differentiation through optional extension activities and exploration projects. Ozaria can be implemented in any setting, in person, hybrid, and fully remote. Our dedicated customer success managers ensure you maximize the potential of the program. And our team provides technical support to address any issue. Beyond the setup and implementation training, we offer professional development for teachers looking to build their computer science expertise. We also provide supplemental online tutoring for students that need additional support. Welcome to Ozaria, your turnkey solution to teaching computer science. So that explains a lot. Teaching computer that explained a lot about uh, the Ozaria. And I think uh, uh, for those who 
mm, I wanted to know also about the counter compact. The current compact has a very small uh, river, very short explanation of it. So let's see right here for the card compact. Welcome to Code Combat. For this year's activity, we've created 10 game levels for you, and we need your help to get them working. In each level, you'll see some starter code. You'll finish the code, then you'll play the game to beat the level. Along the way, you'll be using core computer science concepts like event handling and object orientation. And you'll be using the real programming languages that our engineers use to make code combat. The 10th level is the most exciting and creative challenge of all. You'll use everything you learned to create a game of your very own from scratch. Here's how it works. When the game screen appears, you'll see your goals and the starter code on the right. Follow the instructions there, and if you get stuck, you can click Hints in the upper right-hand corner. In the middle of the screen, you'll find a bank of commands you can use called Methods. And on the left side, you'll see the level itself. When you're ready to check your code, click Run on the bottom right to see your program in action. That's it for now. Happy coding. Are you tired of trying to choose between data science boot camps? All right. I think that is pretty much self-explanatory um so we are fired up um i see uh um somebody saying i'm ready to get these dollars i'm ready i'm fired up fired up fired up uh let's do this let's have fun uh if you have a question there is a chat group that we have on uh on uh on the group but you also have the discord that says i think that has already been shared on the group uh um we always uh, ask you to be the leaders of it, help each other. If you have done that level, uh, uh, past that stage, you can help your friend uh, respond, uh, just respond, take a picture of it and respond or just type on the answer for them to follow. Um, we will do this uh, every time that uh, uh, you have time in the evening. Uh, before you do your game, so other stuff, just like say, let's say you can spend 10 or 15 minutes, give yourself a self discipline. And you're able to spend more than 15 times more, the better. Because why spend two hours playing a game for somebody else made when you can make yours and, 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 and have something that you would be proud of maybe later in life uh, as, you grew, as you build on? So I would encourage you to do that and build on it. Um, and hopefully, like I said, we have all those incentives, everything you do, anybody in this program, uh, we hoping that, uh, we, we, we have a pro, uh, that visit at Bowie. We also have a program with another called, uh, science assimilation in North in, uh, that is also in North County. Uh, once they open up, we will go there as a group. Uh, and then obvious, uh, uh we would also do a trip a field trip it might be a road trip all the way to lola uh around summertime uh if they have that opening for us uh we have two volunteers from boeing that they are willing to work with us um uh those who are if you're not in missouri that's fine uh hassan that's all right uh we'll keep you posted most of the things we'll be able to do it online so don't worry about it uh, we'll keep you posted. Uh, and I know you moved to Nebraska. Uh, so if you have friends in Nebraska, you can also tell them to join. And also if you have friends, uh, I mean, Minnesota, yeah, that's good. Good to hear that. So if you have also friends out of town and you want them to do, to be part of this, it's a great way to stay connected with them. Uh, give them that link that I shared with you. Let them log in uh, because also there is an aspect of sociopath uh, connection. Just share with them and uh, have them uh, be part of this. And we can always be able to ch challenge each other. Uh, the last item is, uh, uh, I will encourage you to uh, listen also some videos, uh, for especially those talk about uh, code compact, I mean, the coding and programming, just listen to it and see uh, if it's something that will be able to trigger your mind. 
uh, but also be able to be able to be challenged to see things in a different way. Uh, but but this is this is fun. It's, I would say this is not a program. Don't see it. This is as a program. This is another fun part of it. It's a fun activity like any other. It's just where we come in and have fun. Uh, Joseph is doing a project. So after a couple of weeks, those when you build this this the thing, uh, when you build the skills, uh, he's gonna give a small. Um, he will give a small project that we can do, and uh, show the way. And then when you finish the projects, they will do. You're gonna present to the to the to the group. So we have a few people who are gonna be part of the judges. And I think uh, the winner will, uh, if you do a good job, the winner will get, uh, I think it was $300 if I'm not wrong. So there's a lot of money to make, bang. There's a lot of money to make here. So uh, if you win and you do the, the project, it's gonna be like $300. And above all, also on top of that, you will get a certificate and a trophy, which you can always use for your reference, especially those who are in planning to go to college. That is, even if you're in that grade, you can always put when you're applying for college that you want a trophy on computer programming when you're in third grade, when you're in fourth grade. It still counts towards your, uh, your accomplishment. Um, uh, let me see. I think if, if, you, if you have a question, post it there. But like I said, let's have fun. Let's have fun. This is not a this is not a program. This is a fun pr uh, platform that we have created, that is full of learning, full of trips, but also interacting with your fellow friends. I want to share this thing at the last item, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, hopefully, if you have a problem logging in, if you have a problem creating account, uh, let me know. Uh, and then uh, Code Compact, they have a YouTube channel, uh, and you can always follow up on their YouTube channel to learn uh, more about their programs. So let me see if I can share, send this. Just listen to the few, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna play the whole of it, but it's gonna be a few minutes uh, about it, and then we'll call it an evening. Uh, that is... This one, two, and if you, if you have a question, feel free to post it on the chat. Uh, one, they had two. exhausted the entire list of programs we planned for them, and they were hungry for more. Now, I'll be very honest with you, but apart from a few extras, there was nothing else planned. But going over the proceedings of the camp up until that day, we made a stunning discovery. Each time these students were given a free hand to mess around with Scratch, they had learned a lot more than what we taught them as per the syllabus. It was a moment of realization for every single one of us volunteers. So on the last day of the camp, taking a page out of their book, we decided to let them learn the way they did best on their own. And the results were fantastic. They came up with games like multiplayer car racing, some wonderful interactive stories, 2D animations. The list is endless. At first glance, it may not seem like much. But remember, they did this within nine days of being introduced to a software, the likes of which they had never even heard of before. Prior to this incident, I wasn't very sure whether all youngsters could take to coding so easily. But now, I'm totally convinced that anyone can. But why coding? Why coding in particular? What's the link we've all been missing here for such a long time? Coding is nothing but a game of logic. More than anything else, it enables the mind to have a rational outlook. Be it artists, musicians, sports persons, for that matter, every one of us here need to have the basic capability to make rational decisions. And it is logic that governs our decision-making. In fact, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, once said, the advantage of learning how to code is you learn to solve large problems with lots of steps. That's true of everything in life. Coding isn't just for prospective engineers. There's something in it for everyone at any age group and across all fields of interest. Seeing the world through the eyes of code inculcates a how stuff works attitude 
with a dash of creativity. The aim of learning to code at such an early level is not to leave you in awe of technology. It's not to turn every child into the next Bill Gates. Its final objective is not necessarily to produce a workforce for the IT industry, but rather to teach computational thinking, analytical processing of information, and an out of the box approach to real life problems. Well, that is very nice. I hope uh, you guys can be able to, I'm gonna say, share that you, um, that link, uh, link. Uh, take time to listen to all of it. It summarizes what we just talked about. And I'm sure it's something that will be helpful for you to, like I said, listening to some of those videos helps a lot. It helps a lot so that I can be able to broaden up your perspective about, uh, your, your perspective about uh, coding. Because if you come with the wrong perception about coding, you will have a struggle, struggle, having fun of it. But if you come with a better, broader perspective, you will have a lot of fun in it. I always say, this is like a game. And if you come with a negative attitude about the game, you can't play it. But if you come with a positive attitude and building that through those, those good videos, you never definitely have fun. Any question before we close the session? Okay, so we will, I'm sorry here, I forgot to put this one off. Uh, so we will meet on uh, again, uh, but you start working on your stuff. Uh, keep me, I, I always see every time you do it, it shows on my end how you've done. Um, so we will, next meeting, it's gonna be, uh, when is today? So it's gonna be a Wednesday, but it's gonna be on the 9th. So I'm putting it here, 9th card compact. In uh, Sebastian, Uh, yes. So I'm gonna put you there to remind me on that uh, whenever we you, you, you we have the meeting. Make sure you remind uh, we, we we call me so that we can remind and remind everybody uh, on uh, uh, Sebastian and 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 and, and Dennis. Um, are you gonna be helping to remind us when we have the meeting so we can tell people to log in early? Okay. Okay. Sounds thank you, like a, thank you, thank you so much. Sounds like a deal. All right. If nothing, nobody has a question, go have fun. Uh, log in, do your accounts. You can do the next 15, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, and I will see, I'll be able to see the progress. Uh, uh, how you're making the progress. If you have a problem logging in uh, uh, on the account, let me know and I will be able to fix it. Okay. All right. Uh, love you guys and uh, have a good evening. Bye. 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 Bye, Ethan. Bye, Derek. Bye, Janice. Bye, Abigail. Bye, Stacey and Davis. I uh, love you guys.